This is Linda Sherman, at Linda Sherman on Twitter, and I'm here with Mike Stelsner, at Mike underline Stelsner on Twitter. Thank you so much for being with us here today, Michael. It's my absolute pleasure. Thanks for having me. Michael is an expert on so many areas, but particularly I happen to know that he knows Facebook really, really well. And so we want to take advantage of that and get some tips for how you can take advantage of Facebook for your business. Well, you know, the first question is why should I even use Facebook for business? So many of your readers are probably on there because they're interacting with their kids or interacting with their grandkids. They're on there for personal reasons, but that's exactly the reason why you want to use it for your business because 800 million people are on Facebook and so many of them are on there multiple times a day that it's a great platform for you to build a business page. So Facebook has this thing called a business page and we have a free tutorial on socialmediaexaminer.com that goes in how to do it, but you can literally in minutes set up a page that's separate from your personal profile and then you can let all your friends know about it or you can email your customers and then they can begin fanning you instead of friending you on your Facebook page and once they begin that you can use that as an opportunity to connect with people that are strangers and but it, but that, but are that are your fans and that's the distinction for a business versus personal use of Facebook can you give some tips about building a community? On, on I know when you get started, the getting started part can yes. be frustrating for people. Well, first we have, if you search, if you go to Social Media Examiner and click on Getting Started, we've got a bunch of interesting articles. But a couple quick tips are to um, post interesting content about once or twice a day, um, once you have some fans. and. The hope is that they will comment on it, that they will like it, and the more that they do that, then the more they will see it because Facebook watches to see whether or not they engage with your content, and also the more other people will see it. Um, they also have this thing called a Facebook like box. It's a little widget you can put up on your website, and we have it on Social Media Examiner. When people come to your website or your blog, if you have one, and they're already logged into Facebook, and most people never log out, they'll see their friends that are fans of your site, and that's really powerful and that will increase the chances that people click that like button and become a fan of your site. You want to try to grow as many fans as possible. The last tip would be to ask a question that maybe has nothing to do with your business but will get people to participate or engage because the key to everything on Facebook is to get more and more people to participate even if it's off topic because Facebook will reward you so that next time you post something that will show up in those people's news feed. I have heard people who are new to Facebook and pages, but they're they're very interested in sweepstakes and that kind of. They want to get lots and lots of fans, yep. and there's a downside to that. Can can you talk about that and edge rank a little bit? Yeah, the downside to doing a contest or a sweepstakes is you get people to come in with a motive that has nothing to do with your company. So maybe they want to win an iPad, and they become they click the like button, but they never engage uh, ultimately with your content. That ends up hurting you, not helping you. Yes, it'll get you fans, which in the beginning might be essential to make it look like. It's just not two people. But in the long run, um, contests need to be really done right. If you do want to do contests, Wildfire and Strutta are two companies that offer applications that legally allow you to do contests. What you can't do on Facebook is you can't say, next 10 friends to click the like button, get, you know, uh, or, or, you know, uh, enter to win a thing. You have to go through the proper channels or Facebook can ban your page. But the, the important thing about EdgeRank is the percentage of engagement versus the number of fans and so if you want them to come back, right? Yeah, edge rank is a nice term that basically is a mathematical algorithm just like Google has an algorithm to decide which stuff shows up when you cut, type in a keyword. So edge rank has to do with um, uh, all sorts of little variables that are kind of a little more scientific than I can cover in this video but the key to edge rank is what I talked about earlier which is fan engagement and engagement is not always happening with contests. Instead, it's a one-time deal, and that's the key. Great. Thank you so much for those tips. I really appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for having me on the show.